Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome back to school. Today is Wednesday, February 9th, 2022. We're glad you're back with us for a day of learning. I'm inside Mrs. Sager's fifth grade classroom. Great place for learning. Are you guys ready to learn today? I've got just a few announcements for you. First of all, we've got some kindergartners rocking it, counting to 100. Congratulations to DJ in Ms. Shepherd's class, Adrian in Ms. Shepherd's class, and Fern in Ms. Shepherd's class. Whoop, whoop. Come pick up your certificates in the office, the three of you, and your bracelets. Again, great job counting to 100. Hey, you know, the Olympics are going on this week, and I just wanted to, to shout out to you and just remind you, when I'm watching the Olympics, which I love to do, I'm wearing my Olympic uh, USA team lanyard. I know, you know what I notice? I notice there's some tough losses. And you know, just like when you guys have things going on in your life, sometimes you have some tough losses that happen. It's how we react to those losses that are important. So when you're watching the Olympics, just like when you're out on the playground or if you play sports or you're doing some kind of game, even a board game, sometimes there's some tough losses that happen. And we have to accept those losses, um, even on the big stage like the Olympics. And how do we react when we win? We wanna make sure we're not taunting other people. We wanna make sure we're not like bragging about it too much. So we wanna make sure we have good sportsmanship. So in the Olympics, you'll watch and see when people win and they lose, what they do um, during that time. So think about that. The other thing I wanted to share with you, a shout out to Mr. T, our, uh, our counselor. Today and this week is National School Counselors Week. So special shout out to Mr. T. Thank you for the awesome job you do every day to support students and their learning and their social emotional needs. So thank Mr. T when you see him for the great job that he does. And then lastly, on our lunch menu today, it's Wednesday, so that means cheese pizza. Cheese pizza, roasted broccoli, or you can have a tuna salad sandwich, all right? Hey, you know what? This month is Black History Month, and we have a student with us this morning to share about one of the, the, the black um, athletes that I think you may recognize when he shares this. Jordan, come on in and share about your uh, person that you brought up. Jackie Robinson was an American football, I mean basketball, professional baseball player who became the first African American to play in the major league in the modern era. Robinson broke the baseball cover line when he started at first base for the Brooklyn Dodgers on April 15, 1947. Robinson was inducted into the Baseball Hall of Fame in 1962 during his 10-year MLB career. Robinson won the Rookie of the Year Award in 1947, was an all-star for six consecutive seasons from 1949 to 1954, and won the National League Most Valuable Player Award in 1949, the first black player so, so honored. Robinson played in six World Series and competed to the Dodgers 1955 World Series Championship. In 1997, MLB retired his uniform number, across, number 42 across all major league teams. He was the first professional athlete in any sport to be honored. MLB also adopted a new annual tradition, Jackie Robinson Day, for the first time on April 15, 2004, on which every player on every team wears no 42. Thank you, Jordan. That is awesome. I love Jackie Robinson. He is awesome. So he broke the color barrier. He was the first black um, athlete in any of the major sports. And you can see that he made major contributions. What, what a challenge for a person that your, your, you, the, the, your whole community rests on your shoulders that you're going to succeed. Um, so he broke the color barrier. And after that, um, African-Americans um, were now um, able to play in Major League Baseball. 
and there's been a lot of significant contributions from players after him. But Jackie Robinson is the one who started that. And now look, they've retired his number 42 and they have a special day every year for him. So that's really cool. So thanks Jordan for that. The other person we want to recognize is Wilma Rudolph. Here's Wilma Rudolph here. You know, we got the Olympics going on. What's interesting with Wilma Rudolph is despite being told as a child she would never walk again, Wilma Rudolph relentlessly pursued her dreams of becoming an international track and field star. At the height of her career, the fastest woman in the world used her platform to shed light on social issues. So Wilma Rudolph was born in 1940. She died in 1994. She was an American sprinter who became a world record holding Olympic champion and international sports icon in track and field. So she competed in the 1956 and 1960 Olympic Games. She was acclaimed as the fastest woman in the world in the 1960s and became the first American woman to win three gold medals in one single Olympic Games. Rudolph suffered from severe childhood illnesses, including pneumonia and scarlet fever, and she even had um, paralysis, that's where she couldn't walk, caused by polio. So that, she had all of those things by the age of five, so she really couldn't walk. And slowly she recovered from polio, but she had lost strength in her left leg and her foot. Physically disabled for much of her early life, she even wore a leg brace until she was 12 years old. So can you imagine as a kid, she had polio, couldn't walk very well, had a brace on until she was 12. That means outside of elementary school. Finally had the brace off and she just slowly built up her strength to become the fastest woman in the world and to win all those Olympic gold medals. That's, that's amazing. So that is Wilma Rudolph. So we'll put Jackie Robinson and Wilma Rudolph up on our Black History Month display board. I hope you get a chance to come by and check it out. All right. Last thing is birthday announcements. Let's see, birthday announcements. First of all, happy... Hi, Cornelius. What's up? <laughs> Cornelius is here to announce our birthdays with us. First of all, happy birthday today to Isaac Gales. And happy birthday today to... This kid. This kid. Happy birthday today to Jordan Hill. Happy birthday, Jordan. Yeah, Cornelius is here to wish Jordan and Isaac a happy birthday. Jordan, you can come on down and pick out the birthday bucket today. Isaac, you can too. We hope you guys have an awesome birthday. All right, boys and girls, let's have an awesome Wednesday, all of us. We can do that by remembering that at Frylands Elementary School, we respect everyone's feelings and property and their right to learn and be safe. Have a wonderful day, boys and girls, and always remember, Your Frylands family cares about you. Teachers, please lead your students in the Pledge of Allegiance.